I've never seen this account before, but the makeup, the scream, the music, this is like, this has got Mark written all over it as far as just stuff that I like. What's up, everybody? Mark with Cardavox Academy here, and today we're doing something different. I say that all the time, but today we're actually doing something different. So this is certainly not a new trend, uh, reaction channels, checking out TikTok, uh, but it's one that I haven't done for a while because I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted to go about it. I wasn't exactly sure uh, what I would do, um, and I still don't really know. I still don't know how this is going to turn out, uh, but today I want to film, but I don't want to film a reaction video to a song. Um, so I was like, hey, Let's do what we want to do. Let's check out TikTok. Now, there's nobody who doesn't know what TikTok is. So I'm not going to be like, you know, TikTok is a platform. Where... No, everybody know, everybody knows what TikTok is. But uh, what I'll say is that uh, TikTok has a thriving, a very large metal vocalist community um, of, of all different types of people, right? Amateur vocalists, professionals, people duetting, stitching, um, tutorials, things like this. And it's a platform that I have been uh, needing to break out on for a while. But let me tell you, I don't know how y'all do it. Um, especially people with like between like YouTube videos, giving lessons, being in a band, writing a new album, um, just creating any content is such a task. So Kudos to all of you out there who have time to do everything on YouTube and on TikTok. Um, I think the thing that pushed me to do this was I saw one of my favorite YouTube channels is a guy, uh, uh, the channel, I don't actually remember his real first name uh, or his first name, but his, the channel is FD Signifier. Really cool channel. Focuses a lot about on hip hop and social issues um, and like uh, gender studies issues. And it's really fascinating. And he put up a video where he's looking at TikTok and he said something that just made me laugh hysterically. And it was basically like, it's the end of the year. I'm tired. Y'all are going to take leftovers for a video. And I was like, shit, okay. If he can do it, I can do it, right? So, um, really cool channel if you want to check it out. I'm not even super like plugged into hip hop. He just, I don't know, all of his video essays are very interesting to me. But anyway, so today we're going to be checking out uh, metal, uh, metal vocal TikTok. I'm just going to type in metal vocals into the hashtag, um, and I'll I'll take this process, cut up the best ones um, or the ones I find most interesting, and we'll go from there. So um, let's just type in metal vocals. Here we go. All right, so I've got it kind of chopped up so you can just see. Um, I'm, I'm looking at TikTok in my browser, but I've got it kind of chopped up so you can just see like the important bits. Um, and apparently this is a band where everybody does vocals. Now, that's not I've heard of this before. Um, I want to say maybe Mastodon did this. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. There's another band who did this, but I'm really interested because like being a multi-instrumentalist is difficult. So you get four or five people together that are multi-instrumentalists. That's crazy. So let's uh, let's let's check this out. Here we go. Okay, so everyone in this band is vocals. Watch this. Whoa, whoa, they're all pretty damn good. That was uh, so uh, I don't remember all the names, but like start, you know, we'll do things a lot quicker than my normal reaction videos. But starting with our our, our very first uh, dude, those high notes are amazing. Those high notes are phenomenal, right? Um, the the fact that you're using that wide, that wide and tall mouth, bright timbre, very forward, very masky. Yeah, that's just that's the way to do it, right? Well, in this genre here, um, in metal and popping contemporary, that is such a strong way to do it. And the airflow, uh, uh, beautiful. The lows, mids, and highs, all of you sounded phenomenal. I would say if I was to 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 talk to Tyler. I would just make sure sure some of that neck tension was more performative than than necessary. But the tone of his voice, he was putting that distortion on that high uh, on that high sort of heady mix. Um, really very cool. This this is a this is interesting. Almighty Queen Kona. I'm going to check these guys out. Queen Kona, a forest of blind men. Okay, yeah, that's that's going on the playlist. Okay, metal vocal uh, metal vocal TikTok off to a good start. Shit, let's check out the next one. Okay, I'm finding they start really quickly, so I'm having to like pause it and then come back. Okay, so this is uh, Chop Suey, System of a Down. Air, air, let's let's check it out. I'm excited. Already, I'm seeing a nice wide open embouchure, right? Hopefully, not pushing that jaw too far, but let's let's hear it. Yeah. 
to suicide. I cry when angels deserve to die. That was sick. That was really good. That was awesome. First of all, um, oh, yeah, I'm very pleased. You know, interest. Uh, for, so for TikTok, it's so funny. It's Cardivox Academy TikTok, but I use it mostly for like puppies and recipes and cute baby videos. <laughs> I think it's because when I'm not working, I kind of want to take a break. Um, so I've never done like a super deep dive into metal vocal TikTok. But let me tell you, video number two, I'm very, I'm very pleased. So I love the 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 cleanliness of the grit here the the rattle the distortion we have all these different words for it um is is great um i also love the different uh the the utilization of different mouth shapes and armatures or embouchures right to uh to give us some some more weight right like near the end there um she brought her jaw forward and you could tell she like slightly tightened like the center of her mouth or uh, 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 to create like a, a a more weighty tone um also, switching from uh, harsh to clean at any point is a is a tricky skill to learn. Once you've got it, it's not a big deal, right? Once you've got it, it's not a big deal. But the movement there was solid. Now, if I was to give one piece of advice or one piece of feedback, first of all, this is awesome. Like this, you could put this on an album and it would sound killer, right? Um, if I was to give one piece of advice, you know, I think one thing I would say is um, the the singing was beautiful give it a try putting a little bit more a little bit more power behind it a little bit more weight so one thing you can do especially with the type of singing that you're doing here this forward masky very rocky singing is you can do what i call cat poo breaths or cat poo singing right cat poo resonance so like you walk into your room and you see that your cat has pooped on your bed and you uh uh oh that's disgusting uh that uh noise right you can feel that resonance kind of behind your nose and up on the roof of your mouth right my throat is very relaxed, and that's a really great place for us to lean into our voice. Hey, 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 right? And you can get a lot of power and a lot of oomph in your voice just by placing your voice here, keeping the throat relaxed, and leaning with your abdominal muscles. Although, like, honestly, that's just kind of like a thought. I thought this was killer. Um, So, Ariel, Ar Ariel, Aroyath, I'm not sure how to say it. Uh, great job. Okay, hell yeah. So next is Casey Carlson. I follow her on TikTok. Love her, love her videos. I, you know, I, f I think I've been following her for about a year. And I feel like in that year, so when I followed her, she was awesome. And uh, I think in the year, I've seen a lot of growth. Now, she, I've never worked with her or anything. So I'm not like trying to trying to claim any credit for that. It's just I've really enjoyed watching her voice develop and grow. She's got amazing false chords and her clean voice um, her clean voice has been has been really interesting to watch as well. Um, oh, is this, this is a response to a comment. OK, we know you're Chris motionless with that bleh. You cannot hide from us. I haven't seen this TikTok, but I will say that her voice, her voice is pretty versatile and she's got uh, she's got a good voice for uh, for motionless and wide. I think she could do a good job. So let's let's go ahead and check this out. If you're not following Casey Carlson, you should. You should. Love will survive unless hell you are my paradise. Okay, so there were no vocals there, but is she hanging out with Chris Motionless? What the hell? Is that the same wall? Yo, that's cool. That's awesome. Let's go to her. Let's. I want to find. I want to. So that was a that was a very cool uh, transition, and also like really cool. Um, because that that looks like Chris Motionless to me. Like, right. Um. Let's uh, give me a second. I'm going to go to her tech talk. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull up uh, uh, one of her covers so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So uh, hard cut. OK, so uh, I haven't actually seen I haven't seen uh, uh, this one. So a uh, little wage war. Right. Um, I don't know what this is going to sound like, but if it's like any of her other content, it's going to be dope. So let's check it out. It's only a minute long. So let's let's take a peek. Leave me in the dark with the hole for a heart. As long as I can get by the bridge with the stitch out. Break it up! Oh, 
driving air. They want to see me. That was solid. So those are some, um, those are like, uh, there was no cleaning and singing in that one, but you know, if you want to see more of her voice, go check her out. Um, but uh, those false chords were dope. Those false chords were very powerful, very even, uh, very steady. Um, now, I'm not sure if this was pre-recorded and then she screamed along with it or, or anything like that. Um, but, you know, the, the execution was was awesome. Oftentimes with false chord screams, it can be very difficult to find that balance of being able to create the scream because false chord is intentionally breath or in in, in um, intentionally. That's not the word I want. Um, naturally kind of breathy, right? False chords naturally kind of breathy. And as a result, um, that can make it really hard to find uh, to find ways to hold on to that sound. I mean, because if you do like just like a basic like, yeah, hey, why, 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 you'll notice that your your airflow even if you're doing everything right, holding the ribs out, squeezing with the abdominals up and forward, your airflow leaves very quickly. A lot of what I'm hearing here is good strategic breathing. So basically holding the ribs out and taking little sips of air in between phrases. So excellent job. Loved the tone. Loved the timbre. That was sick. 10 out of 10. Great job. Let's check out the next one. Okay. Immediate impressions. I like this guy. I like this guy. <laughs> As many of you know, I'm a I love I'm a lover of black metal. I absolutely love black metal. It can be a kind of dicey landscape to to navigate. Um, but I I love black metal, and I feel like I've come across uh this account before. Um, now whenever I see whenever I see black metal, I and this is maybe just an internal bi bias. I'm expecting really high, really screechy, um, often unhealthy um like fry screams of some variety right um that's th that's what i'm assuming here i could be totally wrong um but you know like wear the corpse paint wear the corpse paint i love it i've got old pictures of me running around with my my college buddy and i there was a graveyard nearby and this was kind of disrespectful in, in you know hindsight i probably wouldn't do it again but we put on corpse paint and went and took pictures not the not the most proper thing to do but it was kind of fun um all right let's see let's see what we've got zob 666 Hell yeah. Here we go. So literally the exact opposite of what I... <laughs> the exact opposite of what I expected. What the fuck? All right, let's start this over. Shit. Here we go. There it is. Okay. Shit. All right. We've got some range here. We've got some range. Let me watch this. Let me watch this low one more time. So on that, first of all, tone sounds great. And I can hear a lot of frontal type of resonance. That's a really great way to get our, our tone lower. Like if I take a mid, I talk about this all the time. If I take a mid and I bring my mouth forward, right? I get a really nice tone. Now, one thing I saw just a little bit of advice um, is that the chest puffed up, the chest puffed up, puffed up, and then your sternum, as if it was kind of like a like a weight or a lever, pushed down into your chest, right? You would get a lot more longevity. You'd be able to hold that a lot longer, and you'd be able to to probably add some dynamics to it. Not that it doesn't already sound great. It sounds it's you're 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 doing great, right? If that breath rather than up here was down and low, right? Not only pulling that diaphragm down, the diaphragm is going to contract, so it's going to move down, but opening up that stomach so you have something a little bit more powerful and more coordinated to squeeze with versus your chest. That's just something that that I would say focus on if 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 you want, right? This is unsolicited advice. So you live your life. Um, let's look at this high, fr uh, high fry scream again. <laughs> See that tongue? That's a smart tongue placement. You can get a lot out of your screams, fry or false chord. By adding, you don't have to go full tunnel, right? Because a full tunnel would be here. Now, I, I'm going to do a different type of high vocal because there's a high vocal I do, right? But <laughs> you can go full tunnel or you can just like set your tongue kind of behind your behind your lip like this. <laughs> and it gives you a really nice, a really nice tube, 
lice. It gives you a really nice tube of uh, resonance to move through. I would say the same thing here, though. Uh, if there's an, any area for improvement, I would say I would say in the breath, taking that intentional breath at the beginning. But you know what? Zob six six six. I think you sound killer, and I would love I would love to hear what you sound like on a track. Maybe you got a band. I'll check out your tuk talk a little bit more. But good job. Love the tone. All right. I am Patrick Teal. It's kind of blurry, so I don't know. We're gonna see. Uh, but uh, let's see. Good morning. It's Hi. time to wake up. Wakey, wakey. I said, wake up. It's time to get up. Bitch, I said, wake That was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. Don't wake me up that way, though. I ain't getting out of bed if you wake me up that way. Let's check that scream out one more time. Let's look at that one more time. Get up, bitch. I said, wake That high sounds awesome. And see, so we've got we've got like that sort of tunnel position again. Like one thing I really try to drive home on this channel is you get so much just from the resonance inside of your head, right? For example, if we're doing like if we're doing uh well, like a high vocal. Well, I just did it, so I don't need to rehash it. But um the position of our mouth can add a lot of power to our scream. We don't always have to crank down our abdominal muscles and we never want to crank down on our neck, right? And that this tongue, not only sounding cool, right? Not only sounding cool is adding that. At the beginning, it sounded like there could have been maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit more even support underneath it, but. Said. Yeah, right, right here. I said. But I mean, he snaps into a, a into a, a pretty solid um snaps into a pretty solid fry space right so overall i think this was pretty cool i think this was good yeah i like the high i like it it's a cool sound too let's keep going okay well this is clearly will ramos but i don't think this is will ramos's account um x goob xx maybe it is i don't know but uh apparently he has a megaphone let's check it out <laughs> hey it's just goofy and i love it you know what would be cool i remember i went to a concert once and the guy was singing through a megaphone into the microphone and it was a bit kitschy but it actually sounded pretty neat um i'd be that'd be cool i don't know how well how well that would translate like in a metal show where there is always already so much noise and so much background so much background just stuff going on but hey maybe that'd be maybe that'd be like a cool little thing to do uh but you know i now i kind of want a megaphone megaphone shit i gotta get me a megaphone next one Whoa, this is a vibe. Holy cow. I love that makeup. That I don't like listen, whatever we hear here, I just love the aesthetic. I love the way that this looks. Very very cool. Um this is Big Vice Energies account. Um proud Oh, the caption says proudest moment. Proudest moment. Okay. All right. Let's check out this proud proudest moment. I'm interested. I'm interested. That's mm. okay. So I absolutely love this sound. Now I will be honest. Um, it's a dicey sound to make right now. You can make it and not, and not worry about any, any damage or anything like that, but it's, it's, I'm not gonna lie. It's a risky sound. Um, that high, that high head voice sound moving in and out of distortion. It takes a lot of coordination. Now, what I heard here didn't sound very bad. I didn't sound, I didn't hear that distortion transferring to the vocal folds themselves or transferring away from it. It sounded like an even movement from like that, you know, like it's going to sound different for me because I've got a much lower voice, right? Moving between that, like, like that sort of sound. There's a very high, like Nazgul, like ring wraithy type sound here that I love. It reminds me of one of my favorite songs of all time, uh, "Born Again" by Overmars. I think it was actually a split. Um, I think it was a band called Born Again and Overmars. And there's a scream like this. There's a woman doing this amazing shrieky, screechy scream. 
Sometimes, I'll be honest, sometimes I like screams like this more than like the really heavily, like that, like the heavily curated, not curated as in post production, but like the very like uh, heavily tr trained and controlled screams. Like, you know, you've got your stuff like, <laughs> like you've got that sort of stuff. And it sounds amazing. I love it. That's what a lot of what I do, right? Um, but this raw, emotional, purely like feeling driven scream. I love it. And like, I've never seen this account before, but the makeup, the scream, the music, this is like, this has got Mark written all over it as far as just stuff that I like. So yeah, definitely here. We're giving you a follow right now. Yes. Amazing. Awesome. Let's keep going. <laughs> Full Metal Jesse. Awesome. So this, uh, she was actually a student of mine for a while. Um, now, one thing I want to specify, I did not teach her how to do metal vocals. I helped her find places of uh, more relaxation, better support, better resonance. I basically helped her take what she was doing and, um, you know, work towards making it a little bit more comfortable and making it a little bit more manageable. But I'm not going to take credit and say I taught her how to scream. She was very good and still is very good uh, before coming to me. I love her evenness of tone. I love how 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 smooth and crisp yet abrasive her distortion is. Um, phenomenal sound. Uh, if you don't follow Full Metal Jesse, Jesse you should because it's one of my. It's uh, just so many cool covers, so much cool stuff. Um, Nemesis Arch Enemy. Let's check it out. Yeah, you know, actually, I remember in one of our lessons, she showed me this video. Um, and one thing I want to make very, very clear is in a one on one lesson over Discord, I have heard her make all of those transitions just as just as fucking smoothly. Right. I think one thing like if I was to pick out like uh, there's there's so much so much to love about about her vocals. But I think if I was to point out one thing that I think is particularly strong, it's the amount of ease and 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 just overall chillness she has with her vocals. Right there. It's it's almost it's almost like when she's really on when she's really hitting it, it's almost like kind of kind of kind of laid back. Like, yeah, I'm doing metal vocals. So what? Who cares? Right. And that's kind of a place when you're learning metal vocals and when you're when you're building like these skills and you're starting to do your own transitions. Right. You're starting to go from like, you know, down here, low, moving up high, back and forth. You'll find that sort of relaxing and letting go is a really big part of the process. Right. Yes, there are things we want to do with tilting our resonance. Yes, there are things that we want to do with like relaxing and opening our throat. But uh, the best thing you can do is sort of take a hands off approach and let your voice move through that space unhindered. Because most of the time when we try to shove our voice, like even with a clean, our clean voice, when we're going from that chest to head, head to chest over that passaggio, right? Um, when we try to force it or push it through, it's like, it's, it's kind of like, like if anybody's ever had a dog, right? And you want it to go from one room to the other. If you grab the collar and pull, that dog is going to bear in, right? And in this case, that dog is our voice, like my voice, right? If instead you say like, hey, come here, buddy. I believe in you. That dog's going to come right around, right across that, uh, that threshold. No problem. To prep this transition, I'm going to make my vocals extra good with the branded Cardivox Academy. Mo I'm sorry. Well, we do have them. But anyway, when we're, try <laughs> when we're trying to go from these transitions, right? Nah, nah. <laughs> right relaxing letting go and letting our voice move on its own is is at least the mindset that we want to have and it's going to be a lot easier if you've learned the the two styles separately high load highs lows built to mid anyway um awesome cover uh go go follow her if you don't already great stuff let's keep going <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, this one looks like it's going to be hilarious. How metalheads think we sound. Okay, cool. We got a little face paint. I dig the vibe. All right, let's. <laughs> All right, I'm just, I, I, don't, I don't know why I'm already laughing. I don't know. Here we go. Send them to the slaughterhouse. Send them to the slaughterhouse. E Uh, you get a follow for that. <laughs> that's hilarious. Also, first of all, love some Ukrainia. Love some Ukrainia. But that's so true. Like, oh, man. Especially when we're first learning, right? I remember some, like, when I was first in, in Kardashev, when I was first putting my uh, my voice down, like, actually recording, I would think I sound so cool. And then it would play back, and I would be like, you know, um, it was just, oh, it was so awful. It was so awful, but it was such an important experience, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, hilarious. This uh, uh, The Dingbat Army, whoever you are, <laughs> that was goofy. It's true, though, right? And, you know, so much of being a vocalist or an artist of any kind, right, is kind of accepting those moments where you sound like dookie, um, accepting those moments where you listen back to yourself or you look at your own painting or your sculpture or read your own poetry or whatever. And you just get past that cringe. You have to get past the cringe to get better. You know what I mean? Um, so funny content, useful content. Let's keep going. Watch my scream evolution, 19 years old. This is exciting. Let's check it out. Wow. So 19 to 27. That's a long journey, right? Eight years, 19, 21. Yeah, roughly. Um, I always get nervous when I have to do mental math in front of people. Um, but yeah, wow. What like almost 10 years here. Now, I want to say a couple of things. First of all, you were pretty good at 19, right? That's a really good starting point. Uh, like, I don't know how long you'd been doing metal vocals prior uh, to this first clip. Uh, smart move recording yourself and having all this footage to look back on. Um, I think the improvement is exponential, right? It's crazy. It's crazy. We could hear the airflow getting more even. We could hear you getting more relaxed, right? We could hear you moving away from tension and into relaxation, uh, rounding out the tone, right? And eventually you're throwing in layers. Like you can hear deeper screams, higher screams. Um, and I think, you know, we hear you like sort of like, what, how, how am I trying to explain this? It always sounded like you, right? And it always sounded like your voice just always a more more healthy, confident version of that. And I think that's my favorite takeaway here. A lot of times when we try to learn a skill, we try to put ourselves into somebody else's box. And here, you know, granted, I don't I don't know anything about you, Kay the Screamer official. Um, so I, I may I am making some assumptions here, but um it sounds like you were very focused on finding your own voice and finding your own sound and following what works for you. And holy cow, did that pay off? This this current uh let's see, you posted this. This is a this is an older video, but like, wow, Zareno, you've really, you've really grown. I really don't have any advice for you because that current, current clip killer. This is great. Good job. And for anybody watching this, like really, like, I think one thing I run into with students sometimes is that like, for some reason, and I think that sometimes TikTok and Instagram are responsible for this. There's this idea that um, metal vocals are something that we can learn quickly. And for some people, that's true. But, you know, what, what one thing you got to remember is when you see that, like, you know, 17, 18, 19 year old busting out an amazing scream that here you are, you know, older than them and you can't do. 
um, behind that one video is for them hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of practice, right? You do run into the occasional person person who is just naturally talented. That's the truth. Um, that's not most people. That certainly wasn't me, right? It took me about three years just to be comfortable with knowing for sure what sound was going to come out of my head. So when I wanted to, to do a high, I knew that it was, Nyah! it was going to be that sound. It, it took about three years just to get confident, right? And then to be where I am now, it's, it's still a journey, right? I'm still growing. I still have things I'm working on. So this is really good. This is great content. Uh, you know, I feel like oftentimes TikTok has content. Uh, I, and I love TikTok. I think TikTok is a great resource. Um, but sometimes you have I, I don't know. Sometimes t- on TikTok, I feel people are a little bit more focused on posturing um, and creating illusions of themselves. Uh, but this is a very honest take. And this is this is a really good example of, you know, what the vocalist journey can be. Um, again, ni- this 19 year old clip, pff, really strong, really great starting point. So I don't know how long uh, they were doing vocals before that. But either way, I've talked about this long enough. Good good content. All right. And uh, that's me uh, reacting to metal vocal TikTok. There may be a a better way to do it. Maybe, uh, you know, a way to see like only trending posts or only recent posts. I don't know. I typed in metal vocals and this is what I got. But, but that was a lot of fun. We'll see how this video does. If this video does well, maybe I'll do like, uh, you know, a couple more of these one every month or so. Um, And, you know, maybe this will be, uh, maybe this will be a uh, uh, motivation for me to be, to be a little bit more active on TikTok as well. We'll see. But beyond that, again, check out all these creators, every everyone that we uh, mentioned, go you know show them some love on TikTok if you're not already. Um, feel free to check out my other videos if you want something a bit more instructional where I break down a vocal technique. I'm a full time vocal coach. I teach people how to do metal vocals uh, safely and efficiently. That's that's my main job. Um, and if you love the channel, like, share, subscribe. Cardvoxacademy.com. We've got cool merch, little mug. I would say that this mug is great. It's a it's a normal fucking mug with the logo on it. You know, so. But it's a great mug. We've got shirts and everything like that. Beyond that, thank you all for your time. And as always, many thanks. Much love. I'm out.